Hey guys, you know what we were talking about uh, today is we were remembering growing up, getting to college, and then trying to go out into the world, but maybe still living at home because we had no money. <laughs> Sounds home. like a personal story here, Fiona. <laughs> so we want to tell us. We were talking about what, what the best and worst parts of you know living at home with your parents. Oh, was. see, I didn't know it was returning to the nest. I thought I was talking about childhood stuff. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah well, I, I didn't. After I got my first job, I, I was lucky. I got it two weeks before graduation from college, and I never moved back home. I mean, I sit on my own. Leslie, call your mom. <laughs> I can't. So. She loves you. Mm-hmm. We, we, we really uh, are talking about millennials because the majority of them oh, that's are, the truth. That's are you staying about it. still at, they're still at home. Yes. And we're, we're kind of like, okay, remember when mama used to cook and yeah. didn't cost us anything? <laughs> right. The good part. That is, the food's the good part. Yes. And laundry. That was, and that was the good part about it. At least the visits back after graduation is uh, the home-cooked meals. Yeah, laundry and bail money anytime you needed it. <laughs> yes, right, Les? I never <laughs> needed bond and bail money. Why are you looking at me? And Justin, what about you? What did you? What do you miss about living with your mom and daddy? You know, I only did it for a little while, but it was de it was definitely the food. My mom can cook, <laughs> mm -hmm. and, and no offense to my wife. But right. yeah. Mom's cooking. My dad was the cook, and it's the same thing. It's always nice to go yeah. home and get his home cooking. Well, there you go. Free TV was big too. Back yeah, then. <laughs> yeah, I was all about the food and and. You remember having to be the, the remote control for your parents before they came out? <laughs> <laughs> go go turn it to go 12. Turn it to <laughs> <laughs> yes, remember those days? Yep. <laughs> Go change the channel. Yeah. Yes. The volume up. The days when there were 13 channels and that channel U that we couldn't figure out. And that first <laughs> remote that, that came out, it was that one button that went clink, <laughs> clink, clink. The Archie Bunker remote. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you guys. We're, we're living the reliving the good old days. I guess it's a throwback Thursday, right? Yeah, well, why not? So we want to know. Let us know what the best or worst part of living with your parents <laughs> is, was, what did you like? My parents what have figured out crazy? The, my parents have figured out the internet, so I'm not gonna say anything but good things. Well yeah, no. My mom forwards things like crazy and has now become a Facebook fiend. It's it's amazing. Yeah, they're spying all this. <laughs> yes, that's what it is. All right, well school the school year is coming to an end. So you can surprise your teacher with some great gifts. We've got Selena Montoya here, local mom and blogger, to show us some. Yeah, yeah. So quick and easy things for you to do for your teachers. Um, we're going to start with some things that you can do is with your preschool age children. So first we have um, just your favorite muffin recipe, ours at home, um, banana chocolate chip. Wow. Throw in some flaxseed and they're healthy. Yeah? Okay. And there's a lot of them in that car. There's a lot. Don't touch them. These are for our teachers tomorrow. <laughs> Listen, you said that. I didn't reveal your secret, but yes. these are prepared for these teacher love. These are prepared, love. yes, for all of our lovely teachers tomorrow. So, so what did you do on the hood of the of So the really easy. We just grabbed a to-go container where you could use an egg carton um, and just got the kids to put their handprints on here, labeled the to and from, and just made it a little personal, yeah, a little bit of a memento. Show everybody those cartons. I didn't know those existed. You picked yeah, those up. Yeah, these are super easy. So we actually got them from um, Whole Foods. So um, thank you, Whole Foods for your generous donation. <laughs> yes, so that's where you find yes, them. Yes, that's where you find them. But again, again, you know, we use egg cartons all the time to rewrap things, repurpose, and use them for little knickknacks and gifts and mini muffins fit perfectly. Well, Alamo City Mom's blog is your one-stop place to find <laughs> ideas for kids. I was on there early looking for summer camps. Yes. And obviously thanking our teachers because you say your kids get out of school tomorrow, you can do stuff with food. Yes, absolutely, you can. And food is really appreciated, I would imagine, especially when they're really busy this time of year, just trying to get stuff done, need to grab something on the go. Another thing you can do, we've got these um, sort of a twist on the uh, give your teacher an apple. Um, we made some gourmet apples at home. Really simple. We just got some little chocolate melts. Um, Am I allowed to open these? Are these for someone? Do it. These are these are for the for some other lovely can folks I show at school. What's, what you, you can, did? Sure, absolutely. Really easy. So we did chocolate melts on this. The important thing to remember when you're melting chocolate is to do it on a low heat. Otherwise, it starts to burn and get sticky, and you don't get that really nice smooth finish. Oh. So um, do it in the defrost mode. Okay. Um, stir it in between, and we just crushed up some uh, almonds and stuck them on there. That was my son's favorite part. Was Doing that. Oh yeah, being destructive. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> He's almost two. It's it's ready. It's time for that. And then, you know, if you want to go again in the healthier route, just picked up some little packets of peanut butter. Yep. And uh, we're at the farmer's market last week. Grab some little honey sticks. Little honey sticks. You can find those at the grocery store too though. And just wrapped them up, made a nice little treat, a good snack that'll keep. 
and you know, and nice you, and healthy. You decorated it when you took some ribbon and yes. doubled it up and made a they, bow. Oh, you, look at that! That's perfect. You're doing. See, if Jeff can do it, <laughs> <laughs> a monkey can do it. <laughs> Anyone yeah. can now, do it. You grew up in a big family. I did. I did. I'm one of How seven. Big? I'm one of seven. Yeah. In fact, um, when I lived at home, the hardest part was sharing a bathroom with all seven. So that's what and you remember to, from living at home. I did, parents, yeah. and we had to wait for our turn. So I'm number four. So yeah. fourth in line. So, Selena's got her, got her number in line. Yeah. I've got my number. I know my place. Um, and yeah, quick showers to this day. Quick showers. They serve me well. Uh, An egg timer always works And if you don't bathroom. eat fast, you may not eat at all. You know, there's some truth to that. Right. <laughs> That's why everybody overeats now. Right. Give me mine. So, um, you know, some of the other folks, you know, so the last time I lived at home was in high school. And so this is sort of a craft that some of our junior high or high schoolers can do. Mm -hmm. They're feeling super appreciative of those teachers, and they're really easy. So I picked out um, high school colors. Um, my alma mater from high school, Alma Heights, blue and gold. There you go. The blue and gold. gold. You can, you can make on. little lanyards for your favorite teachers. Everybody's um, got to have a place to keep their and, keys. And uh, Jeff, I know and you're a Churchill Charger, so yes, I've got I your uh, so you just red and black over there. And just beads. Yeah, string them around. Super easy. We'll add a little ring in the middle, whatever pattern you like, or you know, if you're pattern averse, just go with the random set. <laughs> just just so keep is, going. This is like the church. Just keep going, keep Union going, Jack just do here. it. So you just alternate yes. and oh. absolutely. It's good for dexterity. It, it's absolutely, and you know, this is actually something little kids can do. Oh do yeah, because it's going to keep their little hands busy. Little hands, yes, little fingers busy. And I know we showed this earlier. We did. But these are little gifts that you can give to the whole class if yeah. you wanted to, and they're little. They're pieces of Crayola chalk, but I love what it says here. It, it says, I hope your summer is chalk full of fun. Yes. So never underestimate the power of Pinterest. Um, free downloadables, free printouts. Yeah, that is good. And they're, they're great. Just don't a good give way that to dress the, things up. Don't give that to the English teacher. <laughs> No, <laughs> no, yeah. we might Chalk we full. might have some issues. They don't there. like puns. By the way, no. that, was, that was Miss Voigt at, at Churchill High School. That oh, was Ms. my Voigt. yeah. Who was your favorite teacher growing up? Oh gosh, you're gonna make me choose. Um, okay, well I'm gonna do a shout out then. So Suzanne Raya from first grade was amazing. An EC Beal fifth grade, one of my favorites. But I think the one who might take the cake was my um, music instructor, Mr. Randy Johnson, who's retiring after over 30 years That's at Alamo Heights. There so. Shout yeah. out to him. I hope Shout he passed. Out. Hi, Mr. Johnson. Maybe you could expunge Thanks. some grades before you leave. <laughs> That's how it yeah. works. Well, Those are great, great ideas, Selena. Yeah. Thank you so yeah. much. Yeah, my pleasure. Hope you guys can use them. All right. For more crafting ideas from Alamo City Moms blog, just head to salive.com where we've provided a link. All right. Memorial Day is oh, right yeah. around the corner. It is time to go ahead and unleash the grill. <laughs> Dust it off. Kick off the cover. Kick off the pollen. <laughs> Scrape it off. So just in time for that, we went ahead and showed you how to grill up a yummy salmon recipe with Chef Peter Seifson from The Cookhouse. Okay, well, we're about to show you how to make a crispy salmon dish that the whole family will love. And here to teach me how is Chef Peter Seifson from The Cookhouse. Now, when people make fish, they may be making it in their home, but then everything smells like fish. Right. How, how do you cut down on that aroma? Two, two really simple ways. Best and obviously most recommended, get fresh fish. Uh, we like to go to Groomers, which is right here in San Antonio. They have really great fish. They have guys cutting fresh fish all day long, so you can get exactly what you want. You can see what you're getting before you get it. You know, we get this kind of specialty cut, so this has got the skin on and the scales off. Uh, it's a wild-caught salmon, which has a lot more nutritional value and much better flavor than like a farm-raised salmon. So you want to look for wild salmon if you're looking for it because it's tastier and healthier? Right. The whole, the whole fish is much better if it's eating natural food and working out. <laughs> swimming in natural waters. Uh, we get it with the scales off, and then we dry it really good so the skin doesn't have a lot of water on it. So from there, we'll just get it with a little bit of salt. And this is a, like a sea salt. And then we take a little bit of cornstarch. So What's the cornstarch going to The cornstarch is going to um, just really help dry it out. Cornstarch dries things out really well and makes good crispy coating on, okay. on stuff. For that crispy skin. Right. OK. So we get just enough on there to really coat that skin a little bit. We'll kind of take and pat it off so it doesn't have too much, because if you have too much on there, it'll make like a crust, and we're not looking for that. So and we'll put that skin pan, right? Okay. And we're gonna put that fish in there skin with side the skin down. side down. Okay. 
and that'll go for about how long? That'll take about um, this big of a piece of fish. It'll probably take 10 minutes. Uh, it still cooks relatively quick, but that's a really big piece. You have the skin side down getting crispy. Take a little bit of this salt, and I'll pass you your... A little bit of pepper. I'm trying to cook everything in one spot, so we've got some nice veggies we can do on the grill. Um, asparagus goes great uh, with salmon, as does broccoli. We just tossed all this stuff in a little bit of olive oil and some salt and pepper. And so when you're cooking your fish, you don't necessarily have to put it directly on the grill. You could do it on the right. skillet. Right. You like can totally doing. do that. And if you have a nice piece of whole fish, you know, if you have a, a whole red fish or something interesting like that, you can leave the skin on it still and just throw it straight on the grill and turn it once or twice and it's done. If you want to do that crispy skin, it really helps to get it in a pan. And so we just kind of let this sit and go. You can see it starting to bubble up a little bit around the edges. And the main thing with this is you want to cook it uh, kind of at medium heat. You don't want to let it go too, too slow or your skin will be soggy when you're done. Okay. But if you do it too fast, it'll burn. You'll see it'll start to turn um, kind of white up here on the sides. It'll start to look more like a cooked salmon, a little bit more pink and not quite so. Uh, translucent and orange. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this piece of fish. So put the broccoli here? You always want to flip away from you so if it splatters it doesn't splatter at you. We're gonna let that keep going for just a minute to finish cooking through on the other side but if you saw how the color of that fish changes a little bit it's nice and tender like that. The oh, flakes yeah, right apart. That. So that's what you want it to be. That's ready to go. You just don't want to cook it too much. If you see a lot of um, if you see a lot of this white stuff starting to come out, that means it's getting overcooked. And then it should just look like uh, the color should be nice and even and translucent all the way through. Super easy, and we got some beautiful crispy skin salmon, some charred uh, broccoli, we got some asparagus on the grill, and a little bit of white rice from inside on the rice cooker. Doesn't get easier than that. All right. And your house doesn't smell like your fish. Your house doesn't smell like fish. That's the best part. All right, for more information on Chef Peter Seidston and the cookhouse, as well as this recipe, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. I know, when, when Fiona shows up at your house with that hat, a TV segment's going to break out. <laughs> Yes, we go into the chef's kitchen. I know, his backyard, which is the best place to cook. Yeah. I heard a really good a nice grilling kitchen. tip today. Mm -hmm. you, you put mayonnaise inside, mm. like get some Hellman's mayonnaise and put it in the hamburger patty that you make. Uh -huh. It's supposed to take it up. I'd never heard of that before. Like a notch. I didn't say <laughs> notch. I was trying not to be cliche cooking term. <laughs> I don't want to say take it up a notch, take but yeah. Notch. Bam. Yeah, Chuck roast with the most. Straight ahead on SA Live. We are approaching Memorial Day. We're going to tell you the incredible story of one local veteran's experience in the big war, plus his journey to D.C. with Honor Flight San Antonio. That is next. And she's known for her clever and creative lyrics. Up and coming star Breland Angel is back with a new CD and a performance. I met this young woman in Pearsall on a Saturday afternoon. I said, you need to be on the TV. We're going to tell you where you can see her live later on. Receive 10th. Welcome back to SA Live. I'm Jeff Roper. We're at the Buckhorn Saloon in downtown San Antonio. And thank you for being here today. 26 World War II veterans and their volunteer guardians boarded a Southwest jet last weekend for an overnight trip to Washington, D.C. My photographer, Ted Obringer, and I, we joined them and went along to capture their experience of visiting the World War II memorial that was built in their honor. And I want you to meet Pete Vera. He was an ambulance driver in the war, and he sat down with us to share his story. The memories of the greatest generation continue to be collected, even as their life journey nears its end. In a 1985 Express News article, Pete Vera remembers landing at Normandy and being told he had a 50% chance of coming home. After we got through with Normandy, I thought that was the end. It was only the beginning. As an ambulance driver, he was there to carry the wounded to hospitals while in the line of fire. We tried to help them as much as we could. Seeing, hearing, and even smelling the casualty of war are memories that Pete has kept locked away, according to his daughter and guardian, Magdalena. He told me that one of the times that 
when he saw a bunch of dead bodies of soldiers that were burned beyond recognition. And that's, he, I don't think he likes to talk too much about that, but he saw that and it, and it made him sick to see that. And, and it's really, when he wears his veteran, World War II veteran hat, people come up to him in the stores and, and say, thank you for your service. And, and I'm with him, of course, and it just makes me so proud because, you know, it means a lot that they recognize that. Pete's visit to the World War II Memorial aboard Honor Flight San Antonio brings a prideful remembrance of the celebrations once the war was won. When we went to Paris, we went through a small town because around Paris there's a lot of small towns and the people would line up, uh, uh, you know, across uh, along the way of the road and our convoy would drive slowly and the people would throw flowers at us, especially the girls and kisses and all that. That was great. It's great feeling. It's like, it's just over. No, but it wasn't over. It was just the beginning. All right, for more on Honor Flight San Antonio, go to honorflightsanantonio.org. And thank you, Mr. Pete, for your service and all that you've sacrificed. And we'd like to thank Air Force Federal Credit Union for making our trip to D.C. possible. Air Force Credit, Federal Credit Union at airforcefcu.com. Tomorrow, we'll introduce you to a former POW who got the biggest surprise of his life at the World War II Memorial. So please make sure you're here as we head into Memorial Day weekend. Coming up on SA Live. Yep, don't give up your favorite dessert to lose weight. How you can still eat those sweet treats and burn calories, this lady knows. She knows the celebrities, too, and how their secrets work. Fat-burning desserts. And later, this young woman was nominated for a Female Vocalist of the Year category. She's brand new to country music. Breland Angel will be performing for us live next. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, she's a Texas gal with a big voice and big dreams. Breland Angel is here to perform and, of course, talk about your new CD. But first, I want to tell folks that you were the first female to be signed to the Bud Light Texas Country Sponsorship. That's so yes. cool. Thank you. Pretty much, um, we get to partner with Bud Light in a lot of different festivals. Um, potentially go to NFR this year, which will be really exciting. And then um, they throw some cool merchandise our way. We go play shows for them. It's just fun to have our, lo you know, our logos partner up and work together. It's awesome. So this could be big because yes. you might, maybe, 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 maybe. So we got to all cross our fingers and yes. put juju out there. Be at the national, the, the NFR in Vegas. Yes. <gasps> That yes. So cool. The fingers are crossed. It's, it's right. in the works. So All we'll right. see what happens. <laughs> so your new CD out is called a Dim Diamond in a Rhinestone World. Yes. And you shot your first music video for a song on that album. Yes, we actually shot the first music video for Rhinestone World, which I've played for you guys before, which was so much fun. Um, this single's currently top 20 on Texas radio, and um, I got to dress up as Dolly Parton, Loretta Lynn, Shania Twain, different females throughout country music, and we sort of went through a time period in this music video, and it, I'm wearing this big blonde wig. People should absolutely check it out. <laughs> uh, you mentioned you dressed as Loretta Lynn. You got to open for her. What yes. was that like? Um, incredible. The first thing, I walked up to her and I was like, oh my gosh, it's so good to meet you. And she was wearing, you know, one of her big ball gowns. And she was like, honey, she's like, we can take a picture, but just don't step on my dress. And I was like, <laughs> absolutely, yes, ma'am, I will not step on your dress. I just want the <laughs> so photo. I just want the photo and to shake your hand because she is the legend that has paved the way for us. So. Too cool. So it was awesome. Open for anyone? If I could open for anyone, George Strait, I mean, the king of country music. George, George, if you're watching. <laughs> yeah, this is, <laughs> I'm putting it out there that you need an opener. <laughs> All right, so you're performing at Fry Height Country Store yes. coming up, not this weekend, but next Saturday, right. right? Next Saturday, June 4th, we're playing with Glenn Templeton. Tickets are on sale now, so everybody, if you're around, come to the show. We'll also be around town June 10th. We're playing the Texas River Fest. So a couple shows in the area coming up in June. All right, and there's the information on the screen. Breland Angel performing live at Fry Height Country Store Saturday, June 4th at 8 p.m. in New Braunfels, Texas for, Texas for tickets and information. You can visit salive.com. Take it away. Hey, Barbara.
butterflies, butterflies buzzing down on 6th Street. High heels, short dress, gonna do it your way. Jim Beam, take me right off the deep end. That's just the mood I'm in. There's a whole lot of hell about to be raised. So the hell with the consequences I face. There's a whole lot of wrong I've been dying to do a prize. Yeah, tomorrow the truth's gonna Ain't no drinking round it tonight Hey cowboy, cowboy You sure look like trouble Buy me a drink I might even ask you your name Before I drag you out of this place There's a whole lot of hell about to be raised So the hell with the consequences I feel Buzzing down on 6th Street, high heels, short dress, gonna do it your way. Oh, if that's what it takes. <laughs> All right, that's Breland Angel with her song Drinking Rounded. You can catch her at the Fry High Country Store Saturday, June 4th at 8 o'clock in New Braunfels. For more information, just head to our website, salive.com. Coming up. It's a facelift you don't have to go under the knife for. And get this, it's only here in Texas. Details next. And we asked you earlier what the best or worst part about living with your parents is, was, and Lisa says, worst part was her never letting me sleep in. Sleeping by 7 a.m. was too late. Wake up. Best was waking up to the smell of homemade tortillas. Oh, you're making me hungry, Lisa. Hey, Jen. That's Jen Strusky, Tobias, Eva, who's producing our show. Hey, thanks for watching SA Live. I'm Jeff Roper, and there is a no cut facelift opportunity for you, and it's only available in San Antonio. And Dr. Tinuade Olushigan is oh, here. Nice. We call her Dr. <laughs> o. She's a friend of mine, and we're going to talk about how you can look younger, feel better, and literally lift up what's you know maybe exactly. a result of weight loss or just you know age yes. in a matter of minutes. Yes. This is the no cut face lift, the Dr. O lift. That's correct. How does this work? This is completely non-invasive, and that's why we call it no cut. Right, there is no cutting, no downtime, no pain. Uh, we basically use lasers to rejuvenate your own skin cells to start making collagen again. And like, when we say no cut, that means no needles either because we're not injecting Botox. No. Botox paralyzes your own muscle. This actually wakes up your own cells, the ones that have gone to sleep, that are not making collagen anymore, it wakes them up to start making collagen again, like they used to 10, 20 years ago. This is so simple. Yes. And this is why you owe it to yourself to investigate this, because Dr. Rose, she's had it done. Yes. Here you are. Yes, this is my...
before and after in just a couple of weekends I had the lasers done to my face and you can see how my nose lifted it was already drooping I had the bags under my eyes reduced my smile lines went down my pores got smaller it was awesome and no downtime I was right back to work well and your and your face feels really good afterwards yes. it feels refreshed <laughs> and it right. looks refreshed discoloration goes away and the yes. bags under the eyes it's like you lost them at TSA yes they, <laughs> there are no more Absolutely. I, I want to show you someone that I know personally who has undergone the Dr. O lift. <laughs> yes, this is Jeff. All right, so weekend makeover, right? Jeff, two, two sessions. That's right. He had the treatment done just to, and you can see here how his jowls look better, his smile lines reduced, the bags under his eyes. <laughs> yes, I lost them at TSA. <laughs> we left right away and just renewed and it looks refreshed. A little bit more awake, I would say. Yeah, well, I feel refreshed. I don't know if we can take a picture of my face now, but I think even Fiona was like, what have you done? And that's the beauty of this. They call me Benjamin Button. <laughs> But I will tell you that it, it, it doesn't take any time to do it, and no. it's really simple, yeah. and there is no downtime, That's so correct. you don't come back with bandages or marks or anything like that. There's one we'll show Monique, yes. and here's another great example. So Monique is an office manager. You'll come in and see her. Um, right there, she was worried about that you know, double chin she was starting to have after having a baby, and I pulled out from my desk, had the treatment done on her. This was her after just three sessions in one week. Um, and works. you can see right there. Yeah. Okay, so there's no Botox, no fillers. This does something that it can't. That's right. I mean, fillers, you're putting products in your own body. With this, you're basically telling your own cells to make the product, yeah, which is awesome. There. It's a and wake it up. And it lasts call. years, it, not months. How many years younger do you think I look? I think you look 15. 15 younger. years younger? I've lost about 30 pounds since this show started, and with sagging skin, it tightened up, and I have to tell you, I, I feel better That's about awesome. it, too. So you, you do great work. Thank I you. would tell you to call Dr. O. You have a special, too, right? Yes. So Memorial Day is coming up, yep. and we're giving our viewers $600 off. Wow. If you call us before Memorial Day. All right. So do it before Monday. Yes. Dr. O's no cut lift 210-760-1026. Text us with your information. There you go. We want you to text right now 210-760-1026, 210-760-1026. The Dr. O lift Dot com. I can vouch for it. I've had six sessions now, and that's the complete treatment. That's right. And it's knocked 10 years off my face, <laughs> awesome. which is great. 210-760-1026. <laughs> Text it now. And, yes, this is for men, too, yes. because we're the last person that gets taken care of. <laughs> and you will help finance this for people, too. Yes. We want you to take advantage of that deal, okay? $600 off. Thank you, Dr. Rowe. Thank you. I Thank appreciate you. you looking at me. <laughs> I appreciate everybody who wants to look at me now. Straight ahead on SA Live, we're going to make sure you don't have to give up those sweet treats that you love to lose weight. This lady is an expert, and Fiona's going to share the secret with delicious desserts next. dessert oh the sweets the chocolate the ice cream the cake i love it i love it all but you know that craving sweets is one of the main reasons people fall off their diet i know i do it every week starting out on monday morning and then you know well that's yep. how it goes so why fight it when you don't have to celebrity fitness expert lisa lynn is here with some satisfying sweet treats that will help boost your metabolism yes. so basically you're saying you don't have to give it up you just have to do it the right way give Eat sweets it. the right way that's right you brought this. Yes. This um, fat is cells. five pounds of fat. And it loves sugar <laughs> and alcohol. Sorry. Oh, it does. Yes. All right. Hey, Jeff. Yeah. yeah. You fat ready? Chance, you won't catch this. Don't. Catch it. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's, that's heavy. <laughs> right? It's five yeah. pounds You can fat. keep it. It's like a love handle. <laughs> keep it. <laughs> so fat cells love sugar. So we don't, if you want to get rid of the fat, you got to reduce the sugar. But not to worry because I have replacements for everything. Now, working with you, you helped some yes. folks lose weight. And we have some examples. Look Who at are this. we looking at here? 90 pounds. This is Janine. And the better part of this story, this is her daughter went on to lose 80 or I think she might even be up more than that. 80 pounds lost because they changed the whole family. So what I do is it's all about replacements. You right. can't tell people just don't do it. Right. 
When we eat more sugar, it flips on our appetites. People don't realize that, including fruit. So you want to flip that switch off so that you eat snacks, but you can stop. Okay, and you, you have to remember that your stomach, it's, it's basically the size of your the fist, The size of your right? fist, yes. Yeah, so if you're hungry, really? <laughs> yeah, you don't need to eat more than that. So I guess, it, okay, so what's our first one that we're going to do? All right, uh, we're going to start at breakfast. You just, how, we're going to cook, ready? Okay. This is protein shake. Pour it right in there. Oh, this is my kind it's of cooking. It's just like this. Okay. We shook it. We made it, right? All right. And now we're going to pour a little bit of coffee in there. You know these delicious drinks that have more sugar in them than soda? Yes. This is one of those for next to nothing. It does have the secret sauce protein shake. Protein buffers the insulin response. And when we can keep that insulin down and not have sugar, you know, levels all over, our hunger goes down and we can burn fat. Uh, so swap out in the morning those other things. How, how, look at your work. I know. It's so pretty. Now we're really going to have fun. Okay, let's talk 3 o'clock nosedive with energy. What do we do? You take a cup of peanut butter. Here, you're cooking, baby. You said okay. you love to cook. You're gonna no, put this, this is my kind of cooking. I'm just pouring some. Yeah, right. <laughs> Protein powder goes right in there. Working, all right. And this is um, honey. You got to have a little sweetness. Honey, B honey. vitamins, good immune boosting ingredients. Okay. So you're going to stir like make-believe you're Martha. <laughs> like I'm Martha I Stewart. freeze okay. this to make it a little hard. It makes it easier. Okay. You know what I mean? So how yummy does that look? Oh, my gosh. It smells amazing. So, okay, through the magic of TV, let's make-believe we're done there. And we're going to roll these in some sugar. I put mine in, in coconut, almonds. You know what I mean? You can ground them up, walnuts. Take, these, take some balls here. And we're going to roll them in the sprinkles. You might want to eat that one, too. It's, oh, you should taste wow. that. Look taste at it. This. It's delicious. So it's a peanut butter ball. You roll it, you stick it in the freezer, and I'm telling you, and sex. Oh, no. <laughs> but this guy, I'm dead. <laughs> so this is the afternoon. You've got your protein. You have a good fat. It's going to take you nicely in. You're going to have dinner. There's fish and salad in the middle. And then everybody loves ice cream. Mm -hmm. Okay, I am. This is where I fall down. Frozen strawberries. This is about a cup. Now, I have mint in here. You can pour it in there, but you don't have to have mint. You don't want to in there. You ready? This is how hard. So we are supposed to take a little protein powder, put it in. That's it. And then you just let it blend. You let it rip. And is that the finished product Let's see right if here? We can, yes, it is. Through the magic of TV, you want to wear it? Oh, yeah, no, you can wear well, it. Let's plug it in, baby. It should be plugged we in. we got to make sure we're plugged in here correctly. I have it all backward. Is it? There we go. Nonetheless. There you go. Go, girl. How hard is that? No, it doesn't take long at all. All right, the magic of TV is done. Go. Taste this. This is gelato. It's literally a cup of protein or, you know, a cup of strawberries and a little, like, two scoops of protein powder. Delicious. Is that not good? It's really good. So it's all about replacements. Take the fat, Lisa. Give me a thank you. One more. I hope you like strawberries. Mm, I love it. Mm, it is good, isn't it? Oh, yeah. I'm going to keep going. See? And, and all good for you. Of course, you have a book out. Yes, I do. The Metabolism Solution. That's in Costco everywhere all over te Texas. All By the right. Way. There it is. Love Texas. Thank you so much. Thanks for, more for having information me. information on LinFit Nutrition, just head to our website, salive.com, where we've provided a link. Oh, there he is. He's so happy he dropped five pounds. That's really good. <laughs> it is good. I just did drop five pounds. On the I floor. know. Yes. <laughs> Tomorrow on SA Live, Jeff whips up some tasty Korean barbecue with celebrity chef Bully. That's all tomorrow at 1. I Hey, welcome back to SA Live. Thank you for watching. I'm Jeff Roper, and I'm here with Steve McNary. He's the team leader at Southwest Exteriors. And, you know, Steve, we've often said, and our mothers always told us, that the eyes are the window to the soul. Right, and that means the windows are the eyes of your home. Exactly. Something like that. You remember that Amityville Horror movie? I did. It looked like it had <laughs> eyes, didn't it? It did. It the did. windows are really important. You are the number one installer of windows in San Antonio. We are. Have been for a long time. Anderson windows, top of the line. Yes, sir. That's how it works. Now, this window is different from others that you could install. We're, it is. We're, we're showing that. We're, we want to show what happens when you take it apart. Though. Yeah. So, Number of differences on the window, we can do just about any color you want. We've got seven different exterior colors, four interior, three different wood finishes. Um, but what's really special about this window is what it's made out of. It's not made out of a cheap plastic or vinyl. It's made out of a, a composite material called Fibrex, exclusive to Anderson. Fibrex by Anderson. Fibrex by Renewal by Anderson, yes, sir. And so we can customize everything for you. We can throw grills, no grills. Uh, this is a great window for two-story homes, the double-hung window. 
Because you can tilt that right Look in. That. Wow. Look at that. I know you climb the ladder once a month and clean your own windows, but you don't have to do I it do. anymore. I'm so. replacing the roof now, as <laughs> we speak. You but, you, you know, the window's right there. And, of course, you can add special panes and glass and all that kind of stuff, yep. too, right? Yep. To, keep, to keep the energy in. Yeah. That's what we're worried about right now. One thing that I hate is wasting money. Right. And so all summer long, people are literally throwing money right out the window because they've got old... Stop. Stop it. Quit it. There you go. I'm going to tell you, Mama, because we, we have a deal for you here in a matter of minutes. So don't don't go anywhere. Let's talk about the way you handle business at someone's home, because I know when you come to someone's home, you make a booty call. We do. We do. We make a booty call. <laughs> so four, the four C's are how we like to operate. We need to explain this. Don't we will. We will. Hang on. Hang on. Wait a minute. Craftsmanship. Yes. Communication. Cleanliness yeah. is big for us and compassion. And so that's where the booty call comes in with the cleanliness. They put the booties on their shoes. They don't leave a mess. We do. They look out for the customer and you're building a relationship because you're increasing the value of someone's biggest investment. Exactly. We want to treat their home like we treat our own home. And our goal is if, if somebody's home during the installation and somebody else isn't, when they come home and drop, pull in the driveway, only thing they're going to notice is the beautiful new windows in their home and the way it's transformed the look. They're not going to see any dirt, any garbage, any trash Just left behind at all. Yeah, all no, nice we take stuff. care of all that. Hence the booty call. From the booty call. From, from <laughs> Southwest Exterior. All right, so we have a deal for you. I want you to pay close attention. So right now, great special because summer's coming up. Up to 20% off every window that you put in your home. 20% off every window. Yes, sir. On top of that, we can do zero down, zero to zero payments for six months. So I've got six. I have until Christmas almost. You do. I think we're close to seven months away from Christmas. You do. So I've got. So you can start saving energy and, and knocking down that, and, that electric bill right away. And cashing in on the investment in your home. You can. Right, you can. Great. But that's a great deal, so we it can't is. give it to everybody. Okay. So you've got to call right now, 987-2300. That's 210-987-2300. Or just call Steve at the house. I mean, he's that's available. Right. He, he'll just hang out. But he'll look through the window and talk to you. Two ones. It's a drive through That's right. 210-987-2300. Renewal windows by Anderson. Only at South. West Exteriors, San Antonio's number one window place, 210-987-2300. Call now, get that special deal. That's 000, right? Correct. <laughs> zero, Up to 20% off on top of that. You get 20% off. On can't the, beat I it. can't do that addition or subtraction, but I know the phone number, 210-980-2300. Nope. 987-2300. 987-2300. Nope. 987-2300. Counting down to 2300. There you go. Or go online to southwestexteriors.com. Thank you, Steve. Appreciate it. I'm, I'm going to climb out the window and leave you here. Couldn't like Melissa Etheridge once said, sing it. I can't sing. You don't yeah, want me to sing. Go. That'll, that'll ruin window. the show. We're getting plugged in. What was your favorite thing about living with your parents? Or maybe the worst thing? When you had to sneak out the window at night? Yeah. Busting. Yeah. It's our huge... Hey, earlier we were asking you what was the best or worst part that you remember of living at home with your parents or... Uh, Chris says, best part, dad's beer fridge. <laughs> Unless he counts them. <laughs> yeah, daddy had a smelly cup. I know that. <laughs> Adam said, the best part, didn't pay any taxes. Worst, hey, move, mowing the lawn. Yeah, <laughs> Wait, free yard still work. Still do. Yeah. yeah, that's still happening. Jennifer says, free rent and free food. Hashtag. Yep, millennial, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, if it's good, it's good. <laughs> I lived with my parents for like a few years ago when I was out of work. I, I did that, too, in between yeah. gigs. I went home for three months. Yeah. It's like summer break. Don't do that. <laughs> Try not to. <laughs> All right. Well, have a yeah. we've got the holiday weekend coming up, and Breland Angel is going to play us out. This young woman is so talented. She's going to play us out. We'll be back here tomorrow at 1 o'clock as we kick off Memorial Day weekend. Here's Breland. Baby, well, my hair a little higher. Well, my smile a little brighter. Pull my skirt a little tighter. If it'll turn a few more hands They want me flirting with the front row They want me to fan their egos Be their puppet on a string So they can be the one who said They turned me into 